Hello church, my name is Abigail and I am from the Chester campus. Um, I am currently an audacious college student and I'm a youth leader and that's me. Uh, I thought for this devotion uh, we could talk about fear and not being afraid. And I thought I would start with a little fun fact, which is that um, in the Bible it says, do not be afraid 365 times which is a lot and I think the reason for that is because that is something that God wants us to acknowledge and is something that we should really take in. So speaking of which I want us to read 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 which says for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity but of power love and self-discipline. It says power which I think means that we have the ability to influence other people, that we have the power and the strength to go through whatever situation um, that we are in. It then goes on to say, love. We are able to love other people, no matter who that person is. We are able to love them because we can see them through God's eyes. We can see them um, on how they were created to be. And we can love ourselves as well. Then it says self-discipline. And what this means is the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses. Which means that we are able to control our feelings. And fear is a feeling. So we can control it. Also the definition of fear means an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain or harm. Now I think sometimes we can get a little bit confused. Because sometimes we'll just pray and be like, God, just get away, um, just take away any fear. I don't want the fear to exist anymore. Take away all the pain, uh, take away any suffering, God. Um, and what actually I believe God um, does a lot of the time is he takes away the threat and he gives us hope. And he says, you know what? I will be with you through the pain. I will be with you through the struggle. Whatever it is you are going through, I will be with you there. So that's why you don't need to fear. Um, because he gives us so much hope and what we end up doing is we end up dwelling in the fear that it just um, overpowers our mind and that's all we're thinking about um, is how scared we are how worried we are when actually we can make a decision and decide I'm not going to dwell in that I'm going to dwell in God's presence I'm going to dwell in the little joy that I can find and I think um, a person that we can, um, um, a person that we can um, follow, I guess, is Paul, because he is the one that actually wrote that verse. Uh, he wrote a letter to Timothy, and when he was writing this letter, he was actually in prison. So at this time, he's in a dark, damp cell. He's all alone. And what he decides to do with his time is to write a letter to other people saying, you do not need to be afraid. Um, you're able to walk in power, love and self-discipline. You need to carry on doing God's work and carry on telling others about God. Because even though it may take you to prison, like it did to Paul, it's still something that you need to do. And that is what God did. Uh, and, and that is what Paul did. Uh, instead of dwelling in that fear um, and that worry about what's going to happen to him, instead he decides to encourage other people, to motivate other people um, and be with God, to take that time where he's alone, um, to speak to God and have more of an intimate relationship with him. And I believe that we can do the exact same. Um, but yeah, what I thought we could do practically is think about the things that you're fearful about. Think about the things that are holding you back, um, holding you back from God's work, holding you back from uh, what you're wanting to do with your life, uh, whatever it is. I want you to think about it and I want you to give it to God and have a conversation with him about, well, what can I think differently about? What could my thoughts look like instead of thinking all these scary thoughts? Um, and so what I want you to take out of this is that don't dwell in fear, dwell in God's presence.
Um, so yeah, thank you for listening. Uh, and I hope that you have a great day.